Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Wizard of Legend. I do have enough gems to get a new cloak, because I've just played so well that I've just racked them up every single run by the zillions. Let's go ahead and do the kind of classic combo. We'll grab Awe, which is probably how many people get their first win. I still have not actually beaten this game ever, but if I do beat it, it might be with something like this. It increases critical hit chance and critical hit damage. And then you equip your vampire eyeglasses, which heal you whenever you hit a crit. And this gives you some nice long-term sustainability. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on these Arcana, try to try to get some more unlocked just to make it through the pool. Frostfaint, sure. You know what? Let's just get a basic. Um, and I guess we'll get these defenders. Ooh, Bolt Rail. I like that one a lot. So I finally get a good basic and I follow it up with another good basic. Okay. We'll also unlock this Plaguing Sprite just because it's the most expensive one. Okay, so we get to mix things up a little bit here. Um, I guess we'll start with Flame Strike as a basic. So, it's kind of nifty. Um, I don't like it as much as Bolt Rail, but we'll use Bolt Rail next time. And then for the Signature, we'll use the one that we just unlocked last time, which is Rock and Roll. And that'll be enhanced too which is nice. When it's enhanced, it summons an additional buzzsaw. Nifty, nifty. So then for my standard, is there something else I have to feel like I have to try? Oh, God. stop, wow, okay. Oh, these things, I don't get it. You tell me, you tell me what's going on here. Yep, that's what they do, that's it. No, 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 I don't think there's anything else to it. I just, I just think that one, that one's a whiff. And then, uh, is there nothing else? I think that's all it is. So yeah, we'll just do whatever I feel like doing. And I feel like doing a Thundering Chain. There are other lightning spells I like. I know there are spells I like in general, but I just haven't quite gotten them yet. Let's go ahead and grab Frost Faint, which I really enjoy. Sometimes enemies will attack this image and then get frozen. Wait, is that the one I just bought? See, air burst. Yeah, yeah, that must be because I've been using Searing Rush, and this is the only one, the other one I have. And then for basic, I'll use Bolt Rail next time, but for now, we'll stick to the fire. Okay, so that's what we got going on here. Let's see if I can actually play well. It is sort of important that you play well because the whole point here is that you heal when you get critical hits, and you get critical hits more often than is usual. But if you get hit too much, then the rate at which you take damage is still going to be greater than the rate at which you heal it, and then you probably would have just been better off using defensive relics that just give you more armor. Oh my god, I got hit. That was the very first thing that happened. Okay, cool. Good, good, good start. Okay. Ah, I gotta be careful to not stand next to those guys. Because they got shields made out of fire. Now the nice thing about the buzz saws is that you can see they do, like, hit the enemy a lot. Now, I don't know exactly how this game handles critical hits. I don't know if, like, things that crit, all, that hit a lot, like, you know, crit less often or whatever, but in general, it definitely feels as though things that do a lot of little hits do get more critical hits and consequently heal you more with the vampire glasses. Oof, that was close. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Uh, wait a minute. No, for a second there, I thought I had the, the, the rocket equipped because my blue bar wasn't going down. But no, it's definitely going down. I definitely have the vampire goggles equipped. Whoa! I did not realize there were people there! Oh, oh Jesus. How did I miss that that was taking place? I was like, oh, no problem. I'll just attack these guys with some, some of my sweet, dope-ass moves. And then they attacked me. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. So I'm at 430, which isn't, you know, that amazing. Really, you should finish the first level at full health. If you're decent at this game, things get a lot harder. I have to be careful here. Oh my god, that was something else. Okay, well, he just turned around mid-strike to get me with his thing. Even when there's one guy whom I can finish killing with my basic, I do kind of want to use my other abilities for the chance to get more critical hits. Okay, 419, down from 430. This is going to be a tough one. 
Oh, that frost faint seemed to help me. Uh, I, did I really just uh, dive off? Okay, finally got around to it. Uh, all right, down to 407. So we're slowly bleeding it. You you want to go on like a nice hot streak, you know, where you have several encounters in a row where you don't take any damage. That way you can actually heal from your vampire goggles. But I'm not a big fan of that. I like to just, you know, builds character. Oh, look, I healed a few times there. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, whoa, I healed a bunch of times. That signature move is really something. Now, racking in those critical hits. It seems like it does more criticals than my Thundering Chain. But I don't know if that's just psychological or if it's actually real. God, Jesus, those guys actually got a hit on me. They are definitely having a field day. Okay. Oh, that's a dead end. There was a very interesting post on Reddit. Someone was like, I wish that this game didn't have dead ends. And I was like, what a weird thing to complain about. But then I'm kind of like, yeah, I sort of wish it didn't have dead ends. You know, when it has dead ends, it just feels kind of unsatisfying. All right, we know what Dragon Dive is. Wind Flurry, I think is the one where you like, is that the one that I had last time? Is that what it's called, Wind Flurry, where it shoots a wind thing? Anyway, I don't think it's very good. Bolt Rail's a good basic. I actually unlocked it. And then Dragon Arc Enhanced. I might get that. It's not my favorite long range spell, but that's clearly the strategy that I'm going for here. Just to go for long range and having an extra cooldown would definitely help against the boss. I need some more gold before I can get it. Okay, that was just like a bunch of guys sitting in one place, begging for me to hit him with buzz saws and get a bunch of critical hits. Now, this is one time when I feel as though I actually did get a relic and spell combination that actually works reasonably well because those buzz saws do seem to crit a lot. Okay, now we're back to the beginning. I probably should have kept exploring down there, but that's fine. Alright, what do we got here? So, uh, the pinwheel. That's an interesting one. I don't usually buy it, but if you're curious what it does, it um, increases air damage by 12%. I don't typically go heavy air, and I don't have any air here at the moment. Uh, the drum is the one that hits things. The battery makes electricity damage better, which is one that I would start with in my all lightning runs. And then we have this five rings as hourglass. I always forget what that one does. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, when you take damage below 20% health, you remove the cooldown of all arcana. I don't know, that seems a little bit finicky. Or, um, oh, really? <laughs> just walked into that one. Uh, or just uh, my, my trademark excuse when I feel like something is not good, but I don't really want to explain why. I just say, well, maybe you just have to be a better player than I am to fully appreciate it. Because, you know, it's like self, what's the, what's the word? self decrepening oh my god i can't think of that word what's it called when you say bad things about yourself uh anyway stanza of flames is the one where you take thank you psyche yes yeah, self-deprecating yes see when you're self-deprecating people can't accuse you of, of, of ow, oh god i just hit my knee against the desk really bad uh stanza of flames is the one where you uh take more damage from water spells, but your fire arcana cause burning, which is interesting. I do have a basic fire arcana. Obviously, it would be way more impressive if I had fire spells here. You know, I'm thinking about buying a fire spell. Golden Armor of Enemy is the one that makes you have more armor, but every time you get hit, you lose gold. Um, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I got that confused. There's one that makes you lose gold whenever you get hit, and there's one that makes uh, all prices all in stores greater by 50%. So it's good at later on, but early on I don't really want to take it, even though 16% armor is nice. And the large red button makes it so that um, you heal at the beginning of each level to full, but um, you don't get any healing from any other effects, which would obviously be terrible here because I am using the vampire glasses. And, more crucially, you lose 40% of your maximum health. I hate that. I wish it just kept your health the way it is, then it would actually be good. Like, you heal to full at the beginning of a level, but nothing else heals you. Like, that would be kind of fair, but when you have to lose 40% of your health to do it, it seems like a lot. All right, fine. We'll take the stanza of flames. I never picked it up before. 
But now if I um, get the other stanza, I will actually complete this poem. And yeah, I take double damage from water spells, but I'm not going to be facing any water spells on the first boss. Um, and if I get killed by the second boss, who knows, I might even die before I even get to the second boss. You really can never take for granted that you'll even make it to boss two if you're as bad as I am. So now, oh my god, he actually hit me on... Uh, yeah, so now my basic arcana causes burning. This would be far more impressive if I had another fire arcana, but I will. I am fully planning to get that enhanced dragon arc from the shop, which I can because that was the deal with the devil. It doesn't cost any gold. Ooh, got some greased boots. Lowers the cooldown of your dash and adds an extra use. Nice. Kind of cool. Hold on a second. Adds an extra use, really? Mm. Oh, I guess that did come back faster, but I didn't do get to do two in a row. Interesting. Well, anyway, I have enough health. I don't need to buy the health potion. I don't need to buy any of these relics, actually. I want the spell. So let's get a dragon arc. And maybe I can get another fire spell at some point, and then I can really make use of that stanza of... Flame. All right, Straight Archer is one of my... Oh my god. I uh, generally like the Straight Archer. Kind of embarrassed that one of its stupid Nimrod helper things get, got me. You can typically see the, the Straight Archer's moves coming, and you typically have enough time to get out of the way. So, I generally don't mind seeing him. Certainly compared to... The struggles that I have with the Burst Mage. The Strafe Archer is pretty nice. Okay, so we end with more than 400 health. I'll take it. And I don't think there were any other spells I wanted. No. So we'll wait and see if I can pick up another Fire spell from the Arcana store. And then I'll save my gold because I don't feel that much excitement about any of the relics that are in there. I could buy the battery and that would just make my lightning thing do more damage, which is honestly maybe worth it. Even if it's only one of your arcana, it might be worth it, but unfortunately I have so many different arcana types that it's hard to make use of those things and it feels like I'm wasting potential. Like, you know, what if uh, I were to buy the battery? Oh, hang on a second. I should have realized something was going on here because there were all these barrels lined up against the wall. And you know what they say, they don't put barrels up against the wall unless they're going to a party. What? I'm, I actually got my signature charged? Okay, cool. Nice. I even got a health orb. Alright, I think I actually have gained health since I came to this level, which I am pleasantly surprised by. So yeah, like let's say that I were to buy... Oh god, I almost got hit by a barrel. Let's say that I were to buy the battery and do more damage with my lightning spell. So I just got hit. Darn it. Um, then what if I found an arcana spell that was fire? You know, I'd want the fire one because I've got the thing that makes my fire spells do burning. But then I'd also want the lightning one. And I wouldn't really know which one I was supposed to get. I hope those guys damaged... Oh! Oh, my god. oh I got hit again! By the arrows. Oh, unbelievable. It's just hard to believe how bad I am. So now, is anybody behind these barrels? No, let's go ahead and explode them behind me. Oh, there's the boss. You know what? I'm feeling frisky. Let's go ahead and fight this thing. Burst mage. Uh-oh. Burst mage. More like the worst mage. Am I right? Okay, managed to not get hit so far. You really want to... Oh! It really should just stop talking forever. Uh, so I got hit a little bit, but it could be worse. Oh yeah, that's right. My uh, my dragon my dragon arc actually causes burning, which is interesting because you can actually dragon arc is an interesting one because you don't have to wait for it to charge all the way. You can just shoot it when you have one a few of your dragon heads come back, and maybe it's actually worth doing it sort of quickly because each time you do it, it causes burnination of the countryside. All right, let's uh, just continue on then. So what do I want to do here? I mean, I've got a bunch of gold, so I clearly want to at least find the Arcana shop and the Relic shop. 
And, you know, you really should 100% the level to get as much gold as possible. Obviously, if you end up taking damage in the process, then it wasn't really worth whatever gold you picked up. Moves like this, I always struggle with. It's just hard to find a good, good place to hang out. Okay. Well, I'm close to 400 health. It's, it's definitely been worse. Even in relatively recent times. Oh wow, they all died from that. Whoa, okay. I will accept this. Hey, I'm back almost to 400. There it is, back to 400. You know, I'd, I'd love a relic that just increases crit chance. There's the Dark Katana, which unfortunately only increases crit chance on melee attacks, not basic attacks. You, if you're using a standard or a signature arcana that has the melee tag, works for that as well. I don't at the moment, unfortunately. But uh, I'd like a more general one. I don't actually know. Is there like an arcana that just increases crit chance? There must be. There must be something that increases your chance of critical hits. All right, Augur Poetry, some kind of resistance, more damage with water. There it is, the monocle. That's what I want. Because what the monocle does is it increases critical hit chance. And I am going to get this pendulum too, because that increases cooldown. So I can shoot faster and do more damage. Uh, with uh, Get crits more often. That is actually a hell of a good store. That was a very nice pickup. All right, this is the guy who will buy your relics. You cannot drop cursed relics, by the way. I am gonna drop these boots. I don't really get what kind of effect they're having, but, but okay. Um, oh, that's not the guy. This is the guy who shuffles in. Ah, okay. You shuffle in one of your arcana, so he randomly chooses one of your arcana to shuffles it in, and then you randomly draw another one. Okay, so we have some interesting choices here. If I had bought the Battery of Tyrannus, uh, oh wait, wait, no, this is enhancing it. Oh, that's not a new one. What are you, Ignition Drive? Shoot, I don't actually know how this works. Okay, it's a tricky one, because another Fire Spell would be good, but I don't actually know what this thing does, and I don't have the gold for it. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and split the check here. I'm gonna go and I picked up the thing, right? Yeah, I have the Grease Boots again, okay. I'm gonna just finish the level, and then we'll see if I actually get back up to 200 gold arenos. If I do, then I'll buy the Fire Spell, even though I don't exactly know what it, oh my god. God, that's kind of difficult to navigate. Um, but if I don't get up to 200, then I will enhance my Thundering Chain, because Thundering Chain is a great ability, and having it enhanced is really good. That may honestly even be the correct decision regardless. But we'll just do, oh, uh, well, I'm already up above 200 gold. Mm, I don't know, I'm starting to back back up on my words here. I do kind of want to enhance Thundering Chain, because it's a very good ability. I'm definitely going to use it for the whole run. And uh, the Ignition Drive, I get the feeling it's some kind of like a close range thing. Like it kind of, you just sort of like, make this like fire thing close out in front of you and it doesn't go that far. But it would be nice to have a fourth spell. However, I'm about to fight a boss and assuming I kill the boss, I will have a fourth spell. Oh god, oh god, oh jeez. Okay, I almost let myself get wrecked. Here's my signature, nice. Oh wait, missed everything. <laughs> oh man. This is part of why, by the way, I'm not, like, that concerned about effects that enhance your signature or cursed relics that, like, take away your signature. Because even when you have your signature, it's often just not that amazing. Um, is there something obvious that I am missing? Well, there's, like, this little nubbin over here, which is nothing. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. I just did two Frosties in a row. And then there's a little nubbin up here, which is also nothing, but it did give me an extra percent. And there's a little niblet over here, which did not give me an extra percent. All right, I don't care. I found all the shops, it's fine. Just need to find a store or the middle, which is what it looks like I have found. Okay, so we are in fact 
Oh, uh, I'm 25 gold short of being able to do both things. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Thundering Chain. I'm gonna do it. Yes, another fire would have been good, but if they wanted me to buy it, they should have made it cost 175 instead of 200. Thundering Chain Enhance is really good because it shoots across much faster, and that can sometimes be important. Wow, I'm actually up to full health, so I guess I had a good enough run that I managed to heal up to full. Very nice. All right, so a good rule of thumb is as tempting as it is to try to hit her right off the bat, don't. Just start dodging. One, two, three, and... F Wasn't there supposed to be a fourth one? I thought this was... Oh, wait, this is still the first level. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I was on the second level, but I'm definitely on the fourth level, uh, or on the first level. <laughs> oh my god, thought I was getting a little ahead of myself here. There's one, two, three. Right, one thing I like about this boss is although some of her stuff can be kind of difficult to dodge. Oh my god, I completely just let her start doing her thing. God, there's a signature. Whew. Uh, she does make this, like, weird laughing noise that kind of makes it easier to tell when she's open. One, two, three. Oh, almost got a signature charge. One, two, three. One thing that you got to remember about that move is that... Um, you have to, that, that one where she dashes across doing a dragon arc type of a thing, you have to learn where she ends. She ends at the, she, she like ends up at the end of it, not at the beginning of it. So if you, if you can get the hang of that, then it's much easier to get up to her after she does that move. All right, so we got Obsidian Cascade, which is an earth spell. Uh, it's not super impressive, it's just this. Um, it is enhanced, because I found it off the boss, so they do more damage and stun. And because it is a signature move, if you do use it as your signature, you get that effect, which is that they do more damage and stun. It's not impressive looking, but it's fine, and it's a ranged attack. I don't remember if the daggers have a range limitation or not, but I'm happy with it. So I have four ranged spells. This does mean that um, if I get into close quarters, all I have is my basic. But... I'm okay with that, I think, because I do have extra value. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, uh-huh, mm -hmm. yep, okay, cool. I do have extra value from the basic because it does make enemies catch fire. I feel like that frost faint is actually being kind of handy. Oh god, these thieves. I often get caught off guard because a lot of the times they are invisible not to be confused with invent oh that's invisible guy it's amazing like because when you see other people play it's like well those guys you can kind of see the shadow it's not like you know actually invisible but when you're playing and you're bad at the game it's amazing how that kind of thing can actually get you and the shadow is sort of difficult to oh come on all right let me just see if i can get over here and just sort of do this Okay, 474, not bad. I think I was at full health coming in here, so I'm doing okay. Um, I would jump across except for that guy. Now that that guy's done, I will use my signature to get some crits and heal up a tad. Notice, by the way, it has been very handy to have a different basic attack than that air slash that you start with. Air slash, more like air laugh about how bad it is. Is this a room? It's not. And my signature is kind of up there. The, the signature ability when powered up is pretty good, but I still think it's more valuable to make sure you break everything and get all the gold. Or at least that's what I tell myself in between sobbing jags when I cry myself to sleep at night. All right, am I getting a free chest here? Looks like I am. Oh, that's a good pickup. I got the battery of Tyrannus. So I only have one lightning thing, but it is a good one. And because of the battery, and now it does more damage. Okay, so we got some good stuff here. The Arcana Rewards card could be good if I end up buying a bunch of Arcana. Um, this is some defense. You know, uh, okay, hold on a second. Which defense is that? It's water damage. Eh, I already... Well, I do have a water boss coming up in the next time, but there's no guarantee I'm going to make it there. Uh, then we got the rocket, which is fun. 
Permafrost cubes give you a chance to freeze enemies. All right, we're going to just get this surefire rocket. And I could get the Arcana rewards. Let me take a quick look here. Arcana reward. So it's 25%. That means I have to basically get 400 gold worth of Arcana to make up for it. Um, how many do I have? Yeah, I guess if I fill this all up, it'll be worth it. I don't need to buy... Or not, oh, no! Oh, this is Arcana, not Relics. Well, I'm not going to buy that much Arcana. I always get the rewards cards confused. No, if this was a Relic rewards cards, I would get it. But Arcana can go screw itself. Let's get the Surefire Rocket, because it's fun. And I don't need to buy any more Arcana at this point. So, it's not like a big deal if I spend some gold on not the most epic Relics of all time. By the way, you'll notice that I'm at uh, full health. So now that I have this cloak that um, gives me more crit chance, and I was lucky enough to find this monocle, it really does have a noticeable impact. Like, the crits happen often enough that the healing starts to be kind of substantial. And if you get the Dark Katana, which triples your chance of getting a melee critical hit, and you're actually using melee abilities, it makes a, notice like a very noticeable difference. I won Wonderbots the first time that he won, that I could see anyway, um, on camera. It was it was with that kind of a setup, where he started with the vampire goggles. <laughs> vampire goggles. Vampire glasses. And then managed to get the dark katana, and he was rolling like a melee kind of a thing. It was absolutely nuts how much healing he had going on. Okay, so this is a tricky thing, because I can't really maneuver... To my heart's content. Oh no, oh no, I just oh come on. Please, just just die. Oh, thank god. Okay. So I'm at 439, which is a little bit of a decline. Now I actually still have some gold. What is this? Oh, it enhances my basic flame strike, which I could get. I could also get one of these, Shock Assault and Thunder Drop are both good. And the idea is I could, I could replace my daggers with this because I have the battery and I do more lightning damage, it'd be nice. But I think I will just enhance my basic. Now, what does it do? Executes quicker and affects larger area? Nice. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, I'll take it. It's My basic attack is my only short range thing, so it makes sense to enhance it. Okay, so... This is a higher level one, so it's going to take more hits to kill it. I'm trying to figure out what the correct order of events is. All right, let's just try to unload everything and then finish it off with basics. Okay, that worked. We got this thing. Well, the Cytonic Drill does this. It's kind of like the Earth Bosses thing. Oh, it's enhanced, too, and it adds an additional drill charge. It's interesting. It's sort of melee-ish. I haven't really been hitting my E button much, so, and I guess I'll try it for something else. But I think the fact that I haven't been pressing my E button with the daggers does not really necessarily speak to the fact that the daggers aren't good. It's more that I'm not playing as well as I should be. Alright, we just haven't gone the right side yet. <sighs> Jesus. Jesus H. Well, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want to dive into the action like that. It seems like that leaves you a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, we'll just stick to the daggers. Those are also enhanced, so it's fine. Is this the boss? Okay, well, might as well fight the boss. No reason not to, really. Got Mr. Fleet Lancer. Romancer. Most dashing Prancer. Man, do I have decreased cooldowns? I think I do. I definitely feel the love. Whoa, that does some good-ass damage. Heck yeah. I should kind of remember to use these more often. Oh, he snuck a hit in there. All right, well, that's not bad. So I'm at 454. We got a blazing lair. All right, well, I think we'll try this, because my, my fire things do set enemies on fire. So I think it's worth doing that. Um, so I got lightning and fire only now, except for the earth that I started with. The blazing lariat does this. 
not the most impressive thing of all time, and it's not actually enhanced, but uh, it does push enemies away really well, so it's a good thing if you're trying to go for a generally ranged strategy. You use your three other ranged cooldowns, and then you just use this in case things get close to you, and you have to push them away. Okay, we'll try that. So I need to look at the map then. What am I missing? All right, looks like I am... Oh, there's a way down! Uh, not a very big way, but there was a way. Okie doke. See, it looks like I, I was missing some stuff over here. Whoa, that's a big feller. Okay. Yo! Oh! Whew, that was close. Get some crits. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm almost up to full. That's fantastic. So yes, yeah, so you can see that even uh, you, if you've been watching this whole series, you know I'm not good at this game. And probably the reason I'm at full health and doing kind of peachy is just because I went for a range strategy with the vampire goggles. Vampire glasses. <laughs> goggles are different from glasses. Vampire glasses and um, the awk cloak. And I was lucky enough to find the analytical monocle. I'm not sure if there's any other things that just decrease or that just increase your crit chance. No questions asked kind of a thing. Oh, that frost fan was kind of nifty there. All right, let's see if I can get a little fancy with the blazing lariat. Okay, judging by the gold that flew at my face, it seemed to work out pretty well. One thing I like about blazing lariat, which is like the dumbest thing ever, but uh, it's really great for destroying all the stuff in a shop because you just kind of get into the middle next to where the shopkeeper is and blazing lariat ho, and it just blows up everything. Which I know is just completely the most irrelevant thing. Oh god, these, uh, you know, those teleporters, when you watch someone play the game, it doesn't look like a particularly big deal, but it really, oh man, I got hit by that guy and I have nothing to show for it. I got hit by that guy and all I got to show for it is this lousy t-shirt kind of at the situation there. Um, okay, let's blow up these barrels and we'll head outward. Looks like we've got a challenge room. Okay, this is actually not one of the worst challenge rooms, in my opinion. Because, uh, he's big, but he's not that hard to avoid. And especially if you're going for a range strategy, the challenge rooms that are very small and flood you with like a bunch of those melee guys and don't give any room to move around are definitely scarier. Okay, well that was that. I actually am back up to almost full, because I managed not to take damage on that one. Okay, this is exactly the kind of thing I don't like. Luckily, these guys aren't the worst enemies. And I have the surefire rocket, so I will have a signature charge soon. Okay, check this out. Check this out, check this out, check it. Ah, uh, well, actually, I didn't get the chest back here, but anyway. So there's the relic rewards card. It's getting kind of late for that. Uh, this is the thing that shocks enemies when they hit you. This gives you a chance to shock enemies and more water damage. Yikes! None of that stuff's particularly great. So if there was, like, good stuff here, I might get the rewards card and pick up something. But now I'm wondering whether it's even worth it. Because there's only going to be two more shops after that shop. I'm probably not going to buy 400 golds worth of relics if I'm not buying any of those relics. Now the question, of course, is... Should I really care that much about saving my money because I've got like pretty much the perfect loadout of spells they're all lightning and fire which is what I have bonuses for I'm probably not gonna want to buy anything else eh, lightning aspect is fun dip, dip, dip. I like perfect storm it's a great spell it drops like an area of effect and it just drops a bunch of icicles but I just don't think I can really swap anything else out I've got all the stuff that I really want right now Oop. Dee -doo. One of these should kill that thing in the middle. Ah, I got enough health that I needed a little bit more damage to finish off. Is this going to be a challenge room? Y yep. Let's see if I can knock some things off with a Blazing Laureate. Oh, that was a good time for a signature. That was actually a pretty good time for the Surefire Rocket. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have had a signature there if it wasn't for the Surefire Rocket. So, uh... Gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that relic, which I just mostly picked up on a whim. Okay, you know what? I think I should probably get that thing that gives you a chance to shock enemies. 
Now this is interesting here because she might take my Dag Cascade, which I don't even want, and then I just get a free Relic. And if she does take one of my good ones, I can buy one of the Relics or one of the Arcana that was there. I've got plenty of money. All right, let's try it. Let's go, let's go for it. Uh, I was really kind of enjoying the Blazing Lariat. But that was actually pretty good. So I got a bunch of health orbs to drop, and I got the critical placebos. Now, that's a weird one. Um, it makes it so that you always think that you're getting critical hits, even if you're not. Like, everything has the um, critical hit animation. But it actually does raise your crit chance. It doesn't say that in the ability. But it does increase your crit chance. So, um, it's one of those things that, like, I'm actually going to buy... I'm going to buy these. They're not my favorite. It's this. Which, wait a minute. Oh, I, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that there was... Oh, I was thinking of homing tracers. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, these are homing flares. Totally different. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's actually pick this up. Yes. Relic Rewards card, and then Tesla Coil. Adds a chance to shock foes. I mean, might as well, right? I might as well have that. There's no reason not to get it, because money is just not doing anything. Oh, it's the Burst Mage. Okay. That's a little bit intimidating. So yes, um, I remember when Wanderbots, I was watching his videos, like the first time he found, or the first time he got the uh, critical placebos, when he had the vampire goggles, he was like, oh, is, like, is everything going to heal me now? And the answer is, no, it's not. But... Uh, you, it does increase your crit chance. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. That signature is like the opposite of the signature that I had last time, where it actually hurt him substantially. Now, to be fair, I do have... Well, hang on. I don't think there's anything that increases the damage of my um, Earth stuff, because my signature is Earth. It doesn't benefit from the fire or the lightning. However, uh, it does, I suppose, benefit from the fact that I get a lot more critical hits. Wave front... Eh, you know what? Frostbane has gotten me this far. Let's be loyal. All right, we're at 98%. I've been to all the shops. Let me just, I guess, check the relic shop. Yeah, more water damage or do damage on being hit? Nah, let's just uh, let's just move on. I wish I could take all these health orbs with me. I didn't even end up needing the health orbs dropped by the doctor or by the boss. So I'm actually feeling okay. As long as I don't play this absolutely wretchedly, I should be fine. Now, I am going to do a little bit of cheating. Because I'm actually in try-hard mode here, and I want to clear out some of these trees. It makes it a little bit easier to just kind of run around if you can get rid of these, these trees. Okay. I wonder if this will... Oh, it actually did no damage. Okay, cool. Just, you know, wondering if that did anything. And the answer is, it doesn't. All right, there's one, two, three, and four... Okay, that wasn't bad. One, two... Yeah, three, four. Ah, if I'd played that smarter, I could have used my signature to finish charging the signature and gotten two of them off. One, two... Ah, I hate this move. Three... Ah! If you can sometimes thread the needle, you can avoid it and it looks so easy, but other times you just get wrecked. Okay, one... Two, gah, can't believe I got hit by that. Three, four. He should die after this. Okay, eh, I'll take it. I do wish I can go back and get those orbs, because now I could actually use them. But it's fine. Oh, is this what I think it is? Shock Nova, I'm a big fan. So uh, I will definitely use that in my next run. Shock Nova does this. You charge it up and you let go and it does that. And it's also really good if you just use it right away. Because if it's in your signature slot, it's enhanced and it charges up faster and has a bigger radius. So, um, yeah. Let's put that in the reserve slot. It does do more damage because I've got the battery. So that's actually worth considering getting rid of one of my two long-range fire spells. Because those benefit from causing burning. But maybe just having a melee thing and doing more damage. No, you know what? Let's not use it. I'm not going to use Shock Nova here, unless I, for some reason, think I really ought to. Um, we'll just save that for the next run. Okay, so, contrary to what I believed, I am actually now going to have to pay the Piper. 
because I do have that stanza of flames, which makes my fire attacks cause burning. But you may recall the other thing it does, because it was a cursed relic, is it makes me take more damage from water attacks. In fact, it takes I take double damage from water attacks. So uh, yeah, that's this is this is a trap, isn't it? Yeah. And there's enemies. Oh come on! Oh god, they actually got me. Oh jeez. Okay, I need to do this. I guess a lick. A little bit more. What the? A little bit more carefully. Ah, uh, my earth thing isn't gonna work, is it? Oh, friggin' ding 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 ding. Nope, the earth just thing doesn't just doesn't go. Okay. Well, I am definitely taking a lot of damage. And not necessarily. Oh, that was. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> Bug! Oh my god, I actually, like, got knocked off of it. And just... Oh, oh my... Oh my god. So I, I got pushed off the edge, I respawned on the trap, and then I immediately got hit by the trap. What? Oh, god, these guys are ridiculous! Oh, okay. You know what I should have done? I should have just teleported over here, first thing. Clearly, now if I could do it all over again, that is 100% what I would do. So, I'm gonna need to go on a pretty good stretch here. You know what, F it. There's nothing I really need, let's just fight the boss. I hope I do well in this fight. Get a lot of critical hits. And kinda heal up, not only from the health orbs at the end of the fight, but also from the critical, trick from the critical hits during the fight. We'll see how well that plan works. Oh my god. Why am I not getting... Oh, what? Unbelievable. God, this guy... The third floor version... Okay. 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 I'm at six health. It's fine. This guy landed some pretty dang... Pretty dang good hits against me. So uh, I'm at 21 health now that I picked up some uh, some stuff. Oh, Raspberry Cookie Boss. So health orbs drop more often now. Okay, that ended up working out very badly. I think level two Crash Knight or level one Crash Knight would have been fine, but that guy just like zoomed across the map without any uh, warning. And oh, man. oh my God, no, we can't end like this. Ah. Uh... Ah, oh, God. I was doing pretty well there. Right here, I got into a little bit of a tizzle. tizzle de dizzle And, um, it was bad. These guys just do not want to get stun-locked. That is a damn fact. Okay, we got some pretty good stuff here. Gloves of Midas means I get more gold, although it's a little late for that, I suppose. And, um, I, I am getting... Quite a lot of hit crits because I have the cloak that gives me crits. Honestly, I think I'm getting about as many crits as a man can get here. Um, I have the monocle which increases my crit chance. I'm wearing a cloak that increases my crit chance. And I got the critical placebos which also increase my crit chance. Oh, did that guy actually hit me? Oh, he actually hit me. Unbelievable. So I do get a lot of crits, and wow, my health is going up pretty fast. I just am finding myself unable to get on one of those nice streaks where I just don't take any damage. Because you know this, this is damage isn't like money. You don't you don't need to take damage to heal damage. You know what I mean? Ah. Well, back down to 108. Oh, wait, you know what? Hold on. There's going to be a relic shop here, isn't there? I haven't bought that many health potions. It's going to heal me, I think, for four. I don't think I've bought any. I think it's going to heal me for 40%. So that's good. At least I have that to look forward to. Ooh, these guys. I should be able to get a lot of crits here. I'm just going to wait for that to recharge. Ah, screw it. Whatever. I'm not going to sit here and waste your time. Oh, it's a signature. It's already ready. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was actually just better than a health orb okay so that that that's the kind of room I'd like to find more often it's it's basically just like a free health room 
Oh, there's more of them! Oh my god, it's like when you get cake that's really delicious and you're like, shoot, I ate all the cake. And then it turns out you didn't, it turns out there's actually more cake! Oh my god, I'm at 203 health, that's incredible! 204! Oh, there's more of them! Oh, it's like you find like a last little niblet on your plate that you just didn't know was there. Okay, now what's this room gonna be like? Eh, this might not be too bad, he says, before promptly getting murdered by everything. I'm just gonna... I think I sh Oh my god, I totally did not remember to look for those stupid guys that drop the icicles that rain on top of you. Okay, that actually is fine. I'm still at 277 somehow, even though I got hit there. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna dash over, dash back. Okay. Okay, I think we're fine. Now, now, now my earth move isn't gonna work, but we'll just use my fire and lightning moves. And I'm, I could, you know what, F it. Let's just dash over, do the earth move and dash back like a champion. Oh, there's a archer there? What? Yeah, no. All right, up to 333. So yes, this is, this is the vampire goggles, ladies and gentlemen. On any other run, I would have been dead like umpteen gerbildillion years ago, but here, just because of the crazy healing, I'm doing okay. Exploding Fireball, not bad. I would buy it if I didn't already have a full lineup. And then the Thunder Drop is fun. It's like you, you know, kind of jump in and do a bunch of thunder, da thunder damage. But what I really want to do is... Yeah, let's teleport around. I want to find the Relic Store. Because I would like to buy a Health Potion. I don't know, maybe I won't need one if I keep getting lucky with the rooms. I was at, I believe, six health at one point versus the boss, and considering how ridiculously quickly I healed back up, I'm inclined to think it's quite fortunate that I did not get killed by that guy. What? Okay. So we got, um, hmm. I think I'm gonna get this carrot cake. Normally you wouldn't buy it this late, but basically every time I take damage, my maximum health increases, and it's actually possible that I will heal back up. All right, I'm up to full relics, so what do I get rid of? Um, Jeez, everything's kind of good. Everything is kind of good, oh crap. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the gloves of Midas. I think we're fine on the gold front. And then I could get rid of the greased boots as well. I don't think I need those. These are all, it's just all sprites, which I don't really care about. And yeah, I do want to find the um, special merchant because it could be the thing that gives you cursed relics. And getting something that's like 16% armor store prices increased would be pretty amazing at this point. Unfortunately, it's Mr. Dress. Eh, I will get this. So this actually increases my critical hit chance and my critical hit damage. Uh, I do take some damage by using him, but not only can I maybe heal all this up, but in fact, I am swimming in gold. I am actually just going to pick up a health potion here. So I'm in pretty decent shape. I don't have any more relics I want to buy. I could have maybe kept the gloves of Midas and gotten rid of the boots, but getting an extra frost faint is sometimes nice for sure. Oh, you know why I died so bad? It's probably because... Yeah, I probably died because I'm taking double damage from water. And remember, you cannot drop your cursed relics. That's kind of the whole point of them being cursed. That's a challenge room. I do want to explode the barrels right away. You can, of course, try to use the barrels to your advantage. Um, but personally, I find that that hurts me more than it helps me. Oh, no, I didn't have my thing on of cooldown, so I didn't do anything. When I thought I was going to do something, I instead did nothing. Oh my god, did I just get reamed by a gajillion projectiles? I did. I absolutely did. Alright, we're at 416. I think I healed up a lot of it, actually. Just from these crazy crits. Wow, just, just in the span of that sentence, I went up to 421. I got pushed off somehow. Don't know how. I do know I'm not happy about it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, that was one of the most unimpressive signatures in the history of signatures. Okay. 422 still. Not bad. I'll take it. 
And there's gonna be a shop on this floor, so as long as I'm not like completely beaten to within an inch of my life, I should be able to heal up. All right, there's this. I think this is gonna be an encounter. Yeah. Oh my god, do you guys. Oh my god, okay. You guys do some serious magics, and I took a bunch of damage there, not just because I got pushed off, but because he nailed me with a frost spell that did double damage. Okay, so I'm not gonna rush it, I'm not gonna buy the health potion now. So, Ring of Reserves, I guess that would help with my Dragon Arc a little bit and my Frost Faint. This gives you a chance to slow, a chance to poison, and then Svalin. Oh, I think that that's resisting to fire. Yeah, we already fought the fire, so I think it makes no sense to buy that. I guess I just want to wait and see how I'm looking at the end of the boss fight. And get the health potion before going to fight the next boss. And after that, gold is useless. Okay. Okay. Let's just... Stay calm and carry on here. Okay, I think I'll duck in to do the signature and duck out. Eek! Eek the cat! Alright, they're all dead. That's good. There's a picture of the llama. Oh, there's a guy up there. Alright, I've got to be very careful because at the very least, those guys do water damage. Which I am quite vulnerable to. Man, that signature charge goes up quickly. I think the reason for that is not necessarily the arcana that I have equipped, but just the fact that um, the rate at which you increase your signature charge is related to your damage. And in addition to healing from my crazy numbers of crits, I actually do a lot of damage with them as well. And so that's partly maybe why it's super effective. Which, I have to say, this is a good signature to have enhanced. It definitely... I mean, I, I feel the impact of it. Okay, some of those buzz saws went into the... stone. Alright. This is looking alright. Normally I struggle with those guys. But, uh, hey, we've actually... Increased our maximum health. You can see it's 500 instead of or 520 up from 500 Which is actually kind of weird. I would have expected it to go up more since I've been getting hit a lot I thought but that's fine, uh, and I'm actually healing. Oh, okay. I was about to say I was healing up all the way But that was a lie All right, come on get over here. I want to use my buzz saws do I have anything off cooldown? Come on, people! Work with me. And by with me, I mean my incompetence. All right, I know there's a shop down there. I wanted to just see what was up here, and I'm glad I did. So now I can just teleport down here. I guess I probably don't need to break things at this point. I'm probably not going to use up all this gold. I can actually enhance the frost faint. Leaves an extra decoy, sure. Blasting or blazing blitz. I could consider, uh, yeah, these are all great. Just all fantastic. Don't really need them. And what am I at? 88%, huh? Okay, I will teleport. Let's go back to the middle. One thing I could consider doing is taking damage on purpose to activate my carrot cake to increase my maximum health. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's really obnoxious, you guys. Did your mama not tell you to grow up to be cowboys? Yeah. Jesus! How many arrows do you have? You're greedy! Save some arrows for the poor starving children in developing countries. Oh, hey, there's the thing. Okay, okay, what do we got? Abhorrent Cologne. This reduces enemy health by 20%, but increases their damage by 30. Well, I don't think I want to do that because I'm already taking double damage from the boss. Horned Halo, uh, what is this now? Ah, yes, you lose half your current health when you pick it up. So your maximum health stays the same, but you lose half your current current health, and if you die, you revive with low health. I might actually get that. Okay, this one, never, ever take it. I don't know why anyone would ever want it. It increases activation speed of your Arcana, but incre decreases your movement speed by 45%. It's ridiculous. Okay, we'll take the Horned Halo, because it keeps your maximum health the same, 
Oh, I need to drop the boots, I guess, to keep the carrot cake. Uh, it keeps your maximum health the same. So I'm still at 526. And if you can heal it all up, then it's like you lost nothing. So I will, in fact, play it safe then. And we're going to go grab a healing potion. And if I'm lucky, I'll be at close to full health by the time I finish this boss. And now I will have a little bit of a life insurance policy. Okay, there's a lot going on here. But it appears that most of the Grand Summoner's summons have died. And I am doing okay. Oh, okay, so my signature that time did kind of catch on some summons. But I think I'm doing all right. I'm gonna get another signature activation here pretty soon. And that one did get him for pretty decent damage. Come on, kill him. Please just kill him. Okay, thank you. All right, that's it. So we got away with murder there. We made a deal with the devil and came out on top because now I still basically have full health and I get to revive when I die. Let's take a quick peek back here. Anything I would want to replace? So no, 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 definitely. Ah, and get rid of this, because I don't need this anymore. So I could replace this with fire damage resistance, chance to poison, chance to slow, or an extra charge on my dragon arc and my frost faint. Well, since this is totally useless, I might as well get one of these. Let's see, is there anything else that's just like completely useless? Health orbs, oh yeah, this is useless, because there's nothing that's going to drop health orbs anymore, so that I don't need. And then these are cursed. Wouldn't want to get rid of those. Okay, yeah. So what I'm going to do then is buy this for a chance to poison. And I guess instead of getting an extra charge on the Frost Faint and the Dragon Arc, let's get the Nerite Shell for a chance to slow. And I'm going to drop the rewards card because I don't need it anymore. And we're going to pick up the Carrot Cake because I still wouldn't mind getting more health. Okay, we still have 132. The Arcana for sale is all fine and good. I'm fine with these homing things. So, okay, we're going to go and fight the boss. Well, if I'm ever going to beat the final boss, now is the time I should do it. The problem is that even though the ice boss for me is typically the easier one, I, I take double damage from water attacks, and that means that when she uses her signature, <coughs> which I cannot dodge because I'm not good enough, I will take a gajillion damage from it, so I really have to heal up a lot, or just take her down very quickly. Okay, so she now, as the third boss, will do five things. So let's do it. Uh, one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two. Good. Three. Fuck. Four. And okay, five. So I uh, got hit by I got hit by everything. Every single thing. She hit me with every single one of them. One. Two, three, four. Where the hell are you? Oh god, I need to kill her right now. Right now. No, no! One, two, three, four. Oh, she did her signature. No, 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 no. Oh, I got hit by only one of them. Oh my god, maybe. Maybe now. Maybe. Can you please just die really quickly? Please. Oh my god, she actually died. <gasps> okay. Well, I didn't do very well in that fight. So I am very low on health. I don't think I want... F I picked up the Frost Fan just so I would unlock it. And I'll hang on. Yeah, I think it's just because I picked it up, I do unlock it permanently. So yeah, now we go fight the final boss. And the way it works is that the final boss has two forms. One of which is ridiculously difficult, and the other one is just stupidly difficult. And uh, you have to beat them both. In the first form, he puts himself into this shell thing. And you have to make sure to dodge those because those do pretty decent damage. And then you have to like break the shell and try to damage him after the shell breaks. And it's kind of a tricky boss because whereas the other bosses are all just kind of like about just waiting, you know, dodging all their attacks, and then, um, just doing damage after you've dodged all of their attacks. Uh, this guy, you kind of do need to damage him 
at every chance you get. And he also uh, automatically rethings himself when you kill him. So you have to like kill him an extra time. Okay, so I got through the first thing, and now comes the second thing. So this guy is very challenging. He uses Chaos Arcana. Um, he does... He kind of does... Oh, shoot, you really have to dodge that, which I didn't. Uh, he... You kind of can count on him to do... Six. And... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. And then try to hit him after he finishes doing his six. But you also do sort of need to deal damage to him. Okay, so I just died. I have the Horned Halo. Okay, yeah, that was great. Ah, I died. Okay, well, it, it was close. So, um, unfortunately, I'm just, my, my technical skill at this game is not high enough to beat that boss. But this run did illustrate the power of the Vampire Goggles and why those are very beloved by the gaming community. So if you get the Vampire Goggles plus the Aw Cloak, I mean, you definitely just saw there how that can make a really big difference. And even if you're not very particularly strong at this game, you can still do better because the fact that you can potentially get some more relics that give you a critical chance and then heal a whole lot can help carry you farther into the game. So like, it wouldn't have surprised me if that would have been my first win, whereas a win with anything other than vampire glasses would have taken me a longer time to achieve. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.